To be a professional in the field of mechanical engineering requires thorough training. Without formal education, it's almost impossible to make it. But when we traveled to Tohoyando in Limpopo, we met a remarkable motor expert. George Nechirindi didn't have a chance to receive formal education. But not only is he a car expert, he actually invented his own, relying mainly on natural talent. The elegant and the luxurious. A lifestyle exclusive only to the wealthy elite. For most people living here in rural Tohoyando in Limpopo, life is about survival. Unless your name is George Nechirindi. An enterprising car mechanic from Venda. This type of business to me, it's not I started with it now. It's, it's a love of cars from childhood, I love cars. It's this passion coupled with youthful exuberance that drove George to attempt creating his own invention. In the late 1980s, a young George began to build his luxury car. It took me about a year to design until when I said no man. Now it's time to, to put it on a reality. And when I think, no, I tried it, it's something very strong, then I say, no, mine too must be strong. Without any formal training, relying mainly on talent and information from car magazines, he started putting his mechanical dream together. It was hard, I don't want to say that. Because you start from the body, to the electronics, to the engine, to the gearbox aligning. It took four long years for George's car to finally hit the road. But exciting as it was, sadly, George had to put the car away as it became expensive to maintain and impossible to keep on the road. More than 20 years later, older, wiser, and now having some financial muscle, George revived his luxury car. And thanks to modern technology, he's now added new parts, a new engine, and exciting gadgets. I designed the electronics, the remote starting, and the doors opening and the, the body itself, the lights, how they operate, as you see there, and there's no car like that in the world, it's my own design. I have to start from the scratch, I don't buy parts, I can only buy a glass and shape it to what I want. This is unusual talent. You don't normally find someone who could design a car like that out of his mind, straight out of his head. No real diagrams, no schematics put down on nothing put down on paper. That is really rare. But like any other new invention, there are concerns. Will this car stop when it has to? If it has a, if George has an accident in this car, will he hurt the people around him more or will he get hurt more? George, however, is confident about the safety of his invention. The car is more safer for me because as it's built by the strong material, it's got a safety belt, but no airbag. But to reach me inside, it's not easy. The car reaches a speed of 260 kilometers an hour. It's been registered and has passed all its roadworthy tests. George now drives his car wherever he chooses all over the country. It may have taken more than two decades to accomplish, but George refused to live with the regret of quitting his mission. 
I would like to see a big company, whichever big manufacturing company, look at this and say, you know what, we can use George. Let's see what we can do for George. Give him an education, set him on the right path. Let him look at other aspects when designing a car. There you have it, from Tohoyando in Limpopo. It's goodbye for this week. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers. <laughs>